First, we have the Travis Scott Air Jordan 1s, OG Highs, a classic in its own right. Then we have the Travis Scott SB Dunks Low. Once it's actually seen in person, a divine shoe overall. But this next shoe, well, there's really not gonna be a need for an introduction. So, as you should or should not know, I'm here to bring you another chapter that is special to me. When I first saw him uh, a few months ago, I was like, that's not an obtainable shoe. Yes. <laughs> not obtainable, okay? I think I kind of muddled my word a little bit there in the beginning. But this particular shoe uh, caught me off guard because it does go with the, spa the basic silhouette of an Air Jordan 1, and it does go with a more recent silhouette of the Travis Scott, but it incorporates different materials as far as the actual aesthetic of the shoe, and I was very impressed by it. But of course, it was not meant to be. Um, they were the website uh, that was selling them, uh, which I won't mention here because at this point it doesn't matter. Um, once they're in the hands of the suppliers, it's their shoe. So anyway, so once they, uh, you know, put the shoe out there and put the blueprint out there, then the suppliers was like, sure, we'll make your shoe for you and um, let the people know it's going to take 10 to 14 weeks uh, for them to get the shoe. Um, but yeah, we'll make the shoe. So. Um, that's what the supplier. That's what the supplier told the person. That's what the person did on their website, and the person on their website probably, you know, he, he or she sold them for thousands of dollars, of course, as is the way to do. Um, <laughs> if it's your idea, it's your, it's your blueprint of the shoe. This is what you take the original silhouette and you make it into your own custom. You're like, I want to get paid for my idea. It's the natural way in America, right? So, uh, and in the world for that matter. But of course, they ended up selling out and then that was the end of that product or that silhouette. Or was it? It wasn't. Uh, it never is. And that's actually a good thing for us. So, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 Patchworks. Now, we are gonna get into why these particular shoes are called Patchworks. There's not much B-roll I can really shoot on these here, but hey, we're gonna still do it because I wanna be able to show y'all the close-up of this particular shoe. <sighs> Good guy. All right, let's get to that B-roll real quick. What up, folks? So we're looking at the basic Air Jordan 1 box here, and um, looks pretty much standard in design. Got that nice little ash to it there. Of course, there's a tag, black, line, red, taupe, color uh, listed all over this patchwork. Now, of course, there are other names uh, for this particular Travis Scott, um, and I did find a couple for you, so here we go. Now. Let's look at the box a little bit more before I delve more into it here. Just looking at the size, looking at the uh, bottom. As you can see the sticker back there. It's a pretty standard box overall, good shape. And um, shout out to Pops Club. They were actually able to get this out to me very, very, very quickly. Um, even faster than my best sneakers was able to get out my um, Air Jordan 3 fragment sample. So very impressive overall. Thank you very much. Pops Club, but let's get into the shoe overall. Now, the shoe itself is also known as the Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 Samples, and it's also floating around as an actual scrap leather custom. Now, this was originally designed or um, done uh, months ago, which months ago being a year or some change ago, back in 2019, um, at the hands of the shoe surgeon. Now, this is not the one that I originally saw on sale, but I almost was certain that somebody of his caliber have had to try to come and do this type of shoe overall, because just look at the materials. Look at the suede, people. Look at that. Look at that. That nice maroon-like suede. Look how it goes back and forth. Nice transitional suede overall. Did you see the leather um, that we were looking into just a few seconds ago? Look at the leather on the eyelid. You see my eye stay here. Um, impeccable. 
magnificent. Look at the suede here, folks. Look at that. This is a perfect fall shoe. I mean, there's no other way to put it. Look at look at the suede on this. Let's, let's just go ahead and put the camera on it for a second. You may not be able to see the suede moving, but yeah, it's definitely moving. Oh, <laughs> no mistake, it's definitely moving. Look at the uh, toe box here. It's a nice gray colorway. Overall, nice design. I decided to put the white laces in this um, this shoe because it, I feel like it goes better with the overall swoosh. So I switched the laces out. They did come with black laces, uh, white laces here, and of course, the brown mocha laces. Um, let's take a look at the back here. Now, what this basically says is sample, okay? And what it is, is a sample. It says here, um, basically, property of Nike not for resale okay you might not be able to see it because it's all folded back but that's basically what it says in the back so yeah this is definitely something that travis scott and his crew or his team was looking about releasing but decided for whatever reason not to do so which like i said for whatever reason because these shits are fire um now uh just was checking to see if there was a barcode uh underneath there not barcode but you know the little um number that the travis scott air jordan one the mocha uh, colorway came out with with that little uh um tag underneath there so just to want to see if it had those numbers which it does not um yeah let's put that one down for a second let's look into the next one here now, of course, these have the uh, stash pockets in them, which I'll show you just in a bit, but just wanted to get this B-roll real quick, this detailed B-roll. Let's look at that transitional suede once more. Come on now, folks, ladies, gentlemen, come on now. Cactus Jack um, embroidery, embroidery back there. We got the Cactus Jack signal here, or sign, I should say. You got the nice suede on the, on the swoosh. Nice material on the quarter panel. Mm, mm, mm. I mean, there's not much really to say overall <laughs> with these particular colors here. I mean, basically what happened is that they were using scrap leather from the studio that the shoe surgeon, you know, has. And this basically made an already Air Jordan 1 a murky one at that, more vibrant while still relying on hues associated with the land. So this is basically an earth tone scrap leather type patchwork Travis Scott one. Um, whatever you want to call these besides fire, um, these are definitely something that you should cop as quickly as possible from Pops Club as they have it at an affordable price. Now these originally was released last year for count them $1,500 a pair. You're not going to have to worry about spending that much for Pops Club. At the most maybe 20% of $1,500 which what you're looking at about uh, what $300 for a pair of these. Maybe even less just depending on what they have them listed for in the future but yeah, definitely something that I am so happy to have copped overall. All right, and we're back. So basically what we're looking at overall with this shoe is a ingenious design because <clears throat> it takes many different materials and it puts together a patchwork or a uh, earth scrap design, design tone, whatever you want to call it, and makes a shoe that's already unique in its own right, even more unique. It just, uh, <laughs> for me, it really looks like a classy type of shoe. Um, definitely something you can wear with a, a nice sweater, um, nice pair of jeans. Um, if you have like a, a pea coat, these shoes right here definitely good with the pea coat design depending on which one you type you tend to go with if it's going to be like a maroon color here or possibly more like a khaki light color here um and let's look at the other one real quick you see the leather right the tumbled leather here these shoes are magnificent to me mainly because when you look at something of this design, you expect it to, you expect it to be it. You expect this to be, that's it, it's whatever. I mean, you guys saw the ones I showed you that uh, Triple KTK has, and he's not getting rid of, of course. But those are like, that design there, it, it's, it's a custom, but at the same time, it's, it's a beautiful design. Nice dark mocha, had the, the black on the quarter panel with the white swoosh. Um, 
So when I saw that they actually made these, that's exactly what it reminded me of. But I didn't want to get them just to try to copy TK, by no means, no. I, I've been wanting to get these. I mean, to, just look. Now, some of y'all is going to be like, man, this shit's ugly. I mean, hey, that's cool with me. Because at the end of the day, I'm putting the shoe on my feet because this is what I like. Now, for you guys out there and ladies that are too worried about call outs, these ain't the shoes for you. These, okay, have not been generally released. Yet, because, but nonetheless, because they haven't been released for retail, do you honestly think because they are available for sale through Pops Club, or excuse me, Pop Club, not Pops, Pop Club, that I'm not gonna wear these on feet <laughs> because they haven't been released for general. No, I'm, of course I'm putting them on feet, yeah. Now, if you guys might've seen Minor Kicks recent video with the yellow Travis Scott 6, sure, a lot of people came at him the same way. Hey man, don't review those because they ain't, they don't exist, man. They, you know what I'm saying? They ain't get released for general release. They better the better than that. No, no, no. Okay, so who cares? It doesn't matter. It's all about what you want to wear. It's as simple as that. And if I want to wear these right here, which I'm gonna, then I'm gonna wear them. And I implore y'all to do the same because these are beautiful shoes. I mean, I just love the materials, especially this shoe. This one is my favorite out of the two. Just because of this, this part here, like the tumble leather and the white swoosh and this part here, and, and you got the nice suede, all of it nice transitional suede. Like, it, like the suede, when they use the suede in the material, it's just, oh man. The, every time I just, oh man. <laughs> oh, and that's why I wanted to show y'all the, um, the stash pockets, which we do have. So I'll go ahead and do that on video, as you can see here, okay. And then stash pocket on this one. Take too much elbow grease, but see on this one here. And I believe that one of them do have that number on the tag. So let's get in a close look here. I don't know if y'all can see it, but there it is right there. Okay, so there you go, right? <laughs> now I'll show it once more if the camera didn't pick it up. But yeah, it is right there. So yes, this shoe. <laughs> Man, this shoe can cause some trouble. This can cause some problems, folks, if they really were to release these. But they're not, they're not. Which is fine, because in the Red Nation, they got them on lock, so check them out, folks. Again, Pop Club, they definitely got these. Check them out, they'll you know work with you. And I've always liked that company because customer service has been exquisite and they get their you know products out to you as quickly as possible i mean the shipping on these like i said was faster than my best sneakers um i got these like <laughs> in a week um it's almost like 24 7 like um kicks for days 24 7 like their shipping is like <laughs> that's how quick pop school got this out to me i guess they were just like look he's about to review them we got to get them out with the quickness they would not they did not disappoint this time around, but that's really all I, oh, on fee, right? We definitely got to get into that. All right, come on, guys. folks so that'll do it for the on feet and um we're gonna go ahead and cut this out but cut not cut it out but cut it short like um not even short this has probably been a long video as usual 
um so appreciate you guys staying with me uh, ladies as well and um just enjoying the video overall i'm really happy that i was able to get this shoot thank you again pop club for getting out to me as quickly as possible um again please make sure to uh like share and subscribe if you would please because we are consistently growing even while i'm doing this video so that's definitely great to see um and if you have any questions or concerns please feel free to hit me up on here through the comment section or just on instagram um and that way i'm more than happy to talk with you or just answer general questions that you may have about how to get these sneakers or whatever the case so other than that if you want to take care of yourself stay safe out there and i will see you on that next review bye